Welcome, I'm Chef Charlotte, and it's Thanksgiving time again, so let's talk turkey. Honey chipotle deep fried turkey to be exact. If you've never deep fried a turkey, it's a must, trust me. Today I'm gonna show you how to injection marinade and deep fry an entire turkey. I'm gonna fry a 12 pound turkey. 12 to 14 pounds is ideal for something like this. It's gonna feed six to eight people, six to eight ounces per person. I've got a turkey thawing in the refrigerator. It's been there for about 24 hours. If you can get a fresh turkey, that's great. Otherwise, make sure your turkey's completely thawed. This is gonna eliminate all safety hazards and ensure proper cooking. All right, let's get started with our marinade. Right here, I've got some great ingredients that I've chosen. They're all a little close to my heart. I've got a little Shiner Box, some Chipotle powder, some great Texas flavors. I'm gonna start by adding them to my blender. I'm gonna begin with my onions, and I'm just gonna dump these in. Gonna add in my garlic. Gonna add in the chipotle powder. Your cilantro, one bunch. Just shove it in there, it'll fit. I'm gonna add in some honey, about two tablespoons. This is gonna have a great sweet flavor. If you wanted to use molasses, you could use that or some other sweetener. Lime juice, and of course, the Schinerbach beer. Don't forget to save one to drink. You can add all these ingredients in there. Put your lid on tightly, and you're gonna definitely wanna puree it till it's completely come together. So we wanna get the consistency as liquid as possible. Over here, I've got a marinade that I've already strained and let sit. There's no large chunks, so the liquid's gonna go smoothly into the turkey. I'm gonna grab my turkey out of the fridge. As you can see, my turkey's already thawed. When yours is thawed, you're gonna to wanna to remove it from the packaging, remove all of the giblets, the neck, maybe save those for gravy, and remove the little pop-up temperature indicator. Let's start the marinade. I'm gonna use an injector just like this. You can pick one up at any HEB. I'm gonna slowly draw the marinade into the injector. Move slowly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and gently insert the needle into the bird about an inch, not too deep. And you wanna go ahead and do this in several locations on the bird. Make sure you get the legs, the breast, even the wings. All right, let's fry this sucker. Deep frying a turkey is gonna seal in unbelievable mouthwatering juices. What I've got here is a 20 quart pot and a propane fryer. You're gonna to wanna to set your fryer far away from any structure, preferably on a concrete slab or any other non-slip, non-wood surface. If your pot doesn't have an oil level indicator, here's how you're gonna measure the appropriate amount of oil. Place your turkey in the pot and fill with cold water until it covers the turkey. Then remove the turkey from the pot and with a pencil, mark the water level on the outside of the pot. That's how much oil you're gonna to need to add. There should be at least three to five inches from the water line to the top of the fryer. This will ensure that no oil overflows. Empty the water, dry out the inside of the fryer and add the appropriate amount of oil. Before you light your burner, take your turkey back inside, pat it dry, and put it back in the fridge. Then come back outside, light your burner, and heat your oil to 375. You can use a long stem thermometer to check the temp. And as always, never leave heating oil unattended. So bring a drink, bring a friend, or bring the TV and watch the game. Our oil's reached 375, showtime. I'm gonna turn the burner off, just in case there's any oil spills, there won't be any fires. I'm also gonna wear some safety gloves. This is gonna protect my hands and my arms from any extra oil splatters. We're gonna now slowly add our turkey into the oil. And return the lid. You can now turn your burner back on. You're gonna cook your turkey for four minutes per pound or until the internal temperature reaches 165 to 175. Be sure to check the temperature in more than one place. Okay, our turkey's reading 170 degrees. And now, drum roll please. And there it is. Honey Chipotle deep fried turkey. I can hardly wait. It's best to let your turkey rest 20, 30 minutes before carving and never leave your oil unattended while it's cooling, and please dispose of it properly. That's it, a deep fried Thanksgiving feast. Find this recipe and more at heb.com slash holiday. Can I eat it? <laughs>